Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified. Today I am changing it up a little bit, doing something that I don't normally do. Obviously a couple of weeks ago I did my upcycle on a shelf. I will leave a comment with the link down below so you can check that out. Yeah, this project took us a while to decide what we want but I am happy with the outcome. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get this party started. So this is the computer area. It is 100% not functional. The computer table is too small. The storage is not great. Basically, we had this area. We needed a computer area ASAP, so we just grabbed what we could to make it look, well, basically just to store crap in, so. <laughs> First things first, time to make the drawers. As you can see behind me, I have already made a set. I feel that IKEA flat packs have improved so much. They are so much easier to do. Doing this took 40 minutes, obviously not for the first one. That one took a little bit longer, but my second one, I was able to just smash it out, which was amazing. I definitely think that IKEA flat packs are way better than Kmart flat packs. Those things are just, I feel they're way more difficult. I really had a lot of fun putting this together. As I've mentioned, we are gonna be doing my dressing room and I'm actually really excited to do it all by myself um, and put it all together. Um, I'll definitely be the first to admit that doing this without any children home, or the three-year-old anyway, the three-year-old is at daycare here, I can focus, but when my three-year-old is here, I cannot focus. One thing I wish that we did have is a lighter drill. I find this drill of my hubby's is so heavy, I really struggle to hold it, but it made life a lot easier and saved my hand from, hands from getting blisters. Every time I tend to use a screwdriver, especially for flat packs, I end up with um, blisters, which is never any fun. I am on to my last drawer now. Did not take very much time at all. on to doing the worktop. So we actually had an amazing friend help us out with this bench top. I think it is actually a piece of bench top and then he's put a little lip at the front there that you can see just to make it look a bit thicker. Yeah, he helped put that together. Shout out to Terry and Lisa. Thank you so, 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 so much. We love it. So now I am going over it with a oil-based 
paint. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the exact one that we wanted. We didn't want it to have a gloss finish, but we decided to go for this and it's turned out really nice. Downside to doing this outside at nighttime was all the bugs that were flying on it. Probably should have done it in the daytime. I'm just putting my second coat on now. And now it is showtime, the moment of truth. Hoping that our vision that we wanted has worked out. It did take a lot of us going back and forth about what we both wanted and how it was going to fit and also without spending too much money because we are saving for bigger renovations. Wait till the end guys if you want to hear how much it cost me to complete this little project. So I've picked up two of these shelves from Ikea for $7 each, so $14 for these shelves. I am going to pop them up there and put some little trinket bits that I've also picked up from Ikea. Time to get to work. Excuse the hungry butt. I was so nervous about drilling these holes into the wall. Concentration face is real. Bit of a quick tidy up. Don't know why I did that before I actually put the shelves in, but anyway. shelves up I'm going to be styling them I bought a few bits from Ikea yesterday I had a budget of $50 to get the shelves and some bits and bobs to put on them I spent 56 so that was including the shelves as well so I went a little bit over budget but that's okay and so here is what I'm going to be using repurposing from my house already and then here is um, what I bought from Ikea yesterday this was $9.99, $6.99, dollars 50 dollars I think. I think this was about $2. These were a dollar each and then $2 for this one in the middle. So I'm going to be having um, over here, I'm going to be repurposing two of these um, photo frames. Sorry, I forgot to add that I also got this. This is a two, four, six, eight pack of um, pictures. So I'm gonna be using two of those in picture frames. Going to be repotting this string of bananas into this gold pot, but I haven't gotten potty mix yet. So we're just gonna do a botch job for now. So let's get started. <laughs> Just 
style it. I am not a professional. This is just me and my things and the things that I like and the things that I think look good together whilst doing it on a budget. Let's go. Now what's left to do is this little idea that I came up with the other day, which I thought was an amazing little idea. On this desk, we do have lots and lots of storage. Obviously, if we only had one set of drawers, this probably wouldn't be an option because we would need more storage space. But this is our little iPod, iPad dock that we have, which is fantastic. It you know, works amazing, keeps it sort of contained and on a stack, but I cannot handle these hanging out all the time. And my husband said, oh, you could paint it white, but I just don't want to paint it white because these cords, it doesn't matter how many times I, you know, tuck them all back in and hang them back in, they always get pulled out. So what we've decided to do is in here is the little um, USB dock. So we are taking them out and drilling a hole in the back of, so we're gonna use one of the small drawers. We're gonna drill a hole in the back of the drawer, um, in the back of the, yeah, in the back of the drawer to stick this plug through so that this will now be the iPad charging dock. No cords everywhere. Close it up, looks nice and neat. This is probably the part that I'm most excited for. It's the small things. Super stoked about this little setup. I love that it's out the way, all nice and tidy. Now I'm just putting it all back together. This this was the moment that I realized that had I have gone the next drawer under, we could have put the cord for the headphones in there and the headphones would have been packed away as well because that's another thing that I don't really like seeing is the headphones. But I chose to go the smaller drawer because I thought that would make more sense considering just a couple of iPads are going in there. Now what I'm doing here is just sorting it all, Marie condo slash checking dates, etc. Seeing what we do and don't need and doing my favorite thing, throwing things out. And this is the Montreal office chair that I picked up from Kmart. It was super cheap, $39. Again, searching and searching and searching and searching for the right computer chair without spending more than $100. And we found this and think that it suits just fine. <laughs> of this little project was approximately $410. Transforming the space and making it into a functional place it has great storage for $409 has worked out amazing. I'm super stoked with it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have had so much fun making this. Um, it's so cool to see something that we envisioned come together, come to life, and yeah, I am very happy with the outcome. 
I say that we're finished with this area, but in some ways we're not now that we've like the chair was the last thing that we needed to purchase. Now that we've got that, my husband Zach wants to get a white computer with a white monitor and a white tower. And then I'm like, well, if we're gonna get white that, then we want a white keyboard, we want a white mouse. And yeah, it feels like with each little project that we do, and I'm sure this is just gonna be the renovating thing, each little job that we do, there's like something extra that we wanna add just to finish it off. And then something extra and something extra. So yeah, this is it for now though. This little area here is pretty much now complete. We've just got a couple of finishing touches to do with the paint. But other than that, it's time to move on to the next thing. The next thing that we are going to be renovating is um, my dressing room, wardrobe area, which I cannot wait to get started. Um, when we've done that, so we were deciding what was the next thing that we we're going to be moving into and my husband really wants to get the backyard done and the shed in so that we can, you know, set up all that stuff and have that all functioning, which yes, I get, but I said, okay, we'll get the shed done before we do a lot of other things, but as long as we do my dressing room first. So that is gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, I've got all my little printouts that we're gonna buy, etc. So that's really exciting. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these videos, leave a comment below and say yes, because then I know that I'm on the right track for what we're doing here. If you haven't subscribed, you know the drill, press it, hit the bell, do it, don't forget, and I will see you in the next one guys, bye!